Hey guys, Dustin here. This video is going to be uh, per the request of uh, a couple of subscribers how to Salford test. Um, I'm going to go through the contents of the box. Uh, the box comes in like this. Calcium test kit for a Salford calcium test kit. Uh, I'll go through the contents of the box. We have a one milliliter dropper. There's a little pink tip here. Kind of hard to see. This goes on the tip of the one milliliter dropper. At some point during the instructions, they tell you to do this. I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Just want to make sure you put it on there as tight as you can. I mean, don't break it, but make sure it's on there real well. Uh, basically, what this does is puts an air bubble in the uh, one milliliter syringe uh, that allows accurate measurement of your calcium levels. Uh, this is the 2 milliliter syringe. Um, each one of the test kits does come with the 1 milliliter syringe with the pink tip. Um, then it comes, each one of them come with a different size, or I think calcium and alkalinity might be the same size uh, additional syringe, but for the calcium, it's a 2 milliliter syringe. Um, this is a little red spoon. We use this to measure out. CA1 solution, or well it's not solution, it's a powder. Um, this is the one part of it I'm not real fond of. Um, it seems like it'd be a pretty important part of it, but uh, you have to measure it out with a spoon and it doesn't seem incredibly accurate. You can easily get a couple extra um, granules of this the CA1 uh, powder. And I would think that would throw off the uh, the test kit, but I'm imagining most uh, high-end, you know, like your Elos and, and all of that, are, are all using a, a powder in uh, some point of their test kit as well. Uh, the next solution is a CA2. It's a liquid solution. Um, they do number these in order that you'll put them into the, uh, the test. Um, and then CA3 is another liquid solution. Um, give me just a second to grab the instructions here. have a set of instructions. Uh, on the left here is how you do them. On the right, basically what you end up doing is reading the, the syringe, the level on the syringe, uh, comparing it to the right here, and then follow that over to the, or to the left here, and then follow that over to the right to find out how many parts per million you have in calcium in your tank. Um, I'll go ahead and get this started. I'm going to collect some water from the tank. All I'm doing here is getting a little bit of water in there, uh, shaking it up to make sure I'm rinsing something out and then dumping it into a container I have sitting by the, the camera. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is grab the uh, two milliliters of water from the two milliliter syringe. Make sure that's pretty exact. Um, the bottom of the, the syringe should be right on two milliliters. I have a small air bubble in mine, so it's a little above, but it's kind of hard to see. But there's the bottom white part is a little bit above the two milliliter mark. But add that to the beaker. Um, and from there, you need to add one spoon of CA1. Again, this is the part that I'm not real fond of, but it's fine. Obviously, it's probably the best way to do it. Alright, so make sure it's nice and level and it's not level. Typically, what I try to do is scoop out more than a spoonful and then kind of knock it against the side a little bit to level it off. So, we've got one level spoon. Dump it in. Um, it says do not mix at this point. The next thing you need to do is add eight drops of CA2. Toss that in. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Okay, at that point I want you to swirl and do not shake for 10 seconds. So swirling motion, basically going around in circles with the, the vial in order to make sure it's nice and mixed up. You're going to end up with, as you can see, a pinkish solution here. All right, there's 10 seconds. At this point, I want you to put the plastic tip firmly on the, the two milliliter syringe, or sorry, the one milliliter syringe. And when you do it, try not to drop it. Um, after that, we need to get the CA3 reagent open. Place the plastic syringe on the very bottom and fill it up to the one milliliter mark. Again, the bottom of the, the black syringe, the rebel part, needs to be exactly at one milliliter. As so. And again, that's probably going to be hard to see, um, but that's exactly on one milliliter. So now this is where the test could take you forever to do. Uh, basically what they want you to do is add a drop, swirl up the, the water or the solution, add a drop, swirl up the solution. You're probably going to have around 40 or 50 drops of solution in this thing, so you could be here all day if your calcium levels are high. Since I already know my calcium levels should be somewhere north of 400, I'm going to take it to the 390 mark. So. By reading this little sheet here, I can see 390. I'm going to have 0.22 milliliters of solution left in there. I'll turn it upright to read that. So there's 0.2. I'm going to come down two notches after 0.2. Let's see if you can read that at all. So two notches after 0.2 is going to be my 0.22. I'm going to go ahead and throw in probably point down to 0.25. Um, so that the test doesn't take me as long. Well, make sure you put it in the solution. Okay. Give it a little shake. So my solution is still pink. Um, what I'm looking for here is a color change. It's going to change from pink red to a clear blue. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and continue to add them drop by drop. There's one drop, shake it up. Another drop, shake it up. And this is going to be very noticeable as you'll see. Um, when I get exactly the right amount of solution in there, you're going to see it change pretty quickly. That is almost there. Put another drop in. So there we go. So there is my blue solution. Uh, I'm hoping it shows up decently in the in the camera, but it's a, a clearish blue solution. Um, and then after that, all I'm going to do is read the amount here on the syringe. Uh, looks like my calcium's actually gone up for some reason, so I'm going to figure that out. Um, actually, no, it hasn't. I'm sitting right exactly where I was before, 0.14. Um, and that is 430 parts per million. So that's pretty good. That's where I want to be. Um, so I'm happy with that. Uh, after that I just dispose of the, the solution in the container that I have here again next to the camera. Um, I'll break the kit down. One thing you want to make sure you do, take these, this calcium 3 or whatever it is, the magnesium 3, put the lid back on it. I spilled probably three quarters of the magnesium yesterday trying to make this video on my cell phone. Um, Needless to say, I couldn't post that one on YouTube. Um, but anyway, so take all this stuff, put it back in the box, and do it again someday. But anyway, that's uh, let's start to finish a Salford calcium test kit. Uh, magnesium is very similar, and then alkalinity um, is exactly, well, not exactly, pretty much exactly the same. It has a powder base to it. The magnesium only has two parts, two part liquids. There's no powder base to it. Um, but anyway guys, hope you guys liked the video, hope it was informative, if anybody has any questions on the process, feel free to post them below in the comments, if you're not already subscribed, uh, please do so, 
at the bottom. I appreciate it. I've gotten another probably three or four subscribers over the last week. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's helping me build the channel up. Hopefully this content is stuff you guys enjoy. Uh, if you have any requests for things to see in the future, uh, please let me know. I do have two other videos lined up that I need to work on. Um, it should be coming out this week, so look forward to those. Um, well, hopefully by Friday I get my new lights in as well. I can work on that this weekend and get you guys a new video or a video of my new lights. Do a review on those. Pretty excited about them. Um, I will go ahead and give away a little bit of information on them. This is an LED unit. Um, anyway, so I'm pretty excited about that. The hair algae still exists in the 65. Uh, pretty much what I'm waiting on now is for those lights to come in. Uh, at that point, I'm going to take some of these rocks out, scrub them down, get everything good to go. Uh, I'll look to invest in a GFO reactor uh, to get some of these uh, elements in, in line. Uh, I keep testing my nitrates and phosphates, and everyone's telling me that the reason they're low is because the hair algae is consuming them. Um, so don't be fooled by low results of nitrates and phosphates in a tank that has a fair amount of hair algae because. Uh, apparently the hair algae will consume those, those elements and you'll read very low to if not zero on those tests when you actually are feeding the, the hair algae still and you still have an issue. So um, the GFO is something I'm going to look to do within the next month or so. Um, got plenty of room down in the, uh, the bottom of the stand so I'm putting that down there. Outside of that, there's a couple of special things that I want to do. Well, not special, a couple of ideas I had for videos that I want to get out this week, like I said, and uh, hopefully you guys will see those by Friday. But anyway, guys, again, thanks to everybody for viewing or for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below. Um, until next time, thanks.